All right, round 20, the moment of reckoning. Um, just want to review a few things. Um, one is that I actually forgot to do anything with this fleet here. I could have taken Brazil or like Belgian Congo or something. Totally didn't do that. I was dumb, distracted with all this stuff up here. Um, also, I think my calculations may be a bit off. This may be closer to a 50-50 because on UK's turn, he can bring in these four bombers as defense. It'll be interesting to see if he brings them in to sacrifice them first or if he leaves them till after the infantry. Um, certainly if he sacrifices them first, it'll decrease my success odds, but give me a potential strafe. Um, kind of curious to see how that will all plan out. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to be pretty bold with Germany here because there's no way he's going to do a one-two punch. Um, I think a one-two punch would favor me. Like if he brought these UK guys down here to attack Berlin and not send them to Moscow, he's going to lose Moscow for sure. So I think there's no chance of him doing that. So I'm going to be a little bolder than usual and grab probably three territories around here. Um... Do some repairs first. You can build three, four. That's pretty good. Four units. Because um, with the Japanese here on uh, Italy, that's pretty handy. Um, definitely going to grab France and uh, Bulgaria. And I'm going to take Southern Europe with a tank, because I can, because it's behind lines. So that's good. Some pretty risky little land swaps, but hopefully I'll get all three. Got France, that's the sixth, that's nice. And Bulgaria. I also realized if I had kept my bomber alive, I could have hit Russia with it one more time on a straight-up attack, and that might have adjusted my success with, uh, with uh, Japan attacking Moscow. So that was cool. Grabbed all three. It's nice. Non-com, land the plane. Um, pretty happy with that for now. Um, the attack power deficit is getting huge, so this is like, I'm like 90 attack power behind, um, which is pretty bad. And uh, got to see how this big battle goes with Japan, so definitely a risky battle with Japan. Um, and uh, he also did something interesting here, I think. He actually took Kazakh. I didn't expect him to. So I um, expected him to keep those American infantry back in Moscow. Instead, he used them to knock out my infantry. So that's uh, a little bit unexpected as well. Um, I also brought one of my guys to here instead of sending him into Caucasus. So that set me back as well. All in all, I wish I had gone a little harder on this. I kind of left an opening for him. Like if I had brought over a couple more fighters, not taken Italy... Um, might have been in a stronger position, like more like 70-30 as it is. I think I'm about 40-60 to take Moscow on Japan's turn. So fingers crossed and holding my breath. i got to wait a little while, but you guys don't have to because I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, it's Japan round 20. It's the moment of truth. It's coming down to the big attack. Um, he has got an insane amount of defenders here. 65 infantry, 8 artillery, 5 tanks and what looks like 23 fighters and the four bombers and an anti-aircraft gun. I don't know if he is going to sacrifice his bombers or not, but the odds are against me in either case. I really don't have enough units in position to make this too strong. The problem is that the clock is ticking on Germany, so if I were to try and repeat my timing, so if I were to try to, say, build another round of infantry tanks, etc., um, <clears throat> he can just bring in too many guys. Like, he's bringing in nine ground units a turn this way, plus another potentially two fighters or, you know, six fighters a turn, um, plus potentially building four units. So if we're talking nine plus six, like 19 guys, I've got to increase by 19. So to repeat this surge is going to be almost impossible, and Germany's running out of time. Um, that being said, too, the war report is against me. The mistakes I've made have piled up over time, resulting in a basically a 100 attack power deficit. So I think I have maybe a 40% chance of a goodish outcome here, either a capture of Moscow or maybe a one-turn strafe, which is profitable enough to leave. Um, so I'm going to play this out by the odds as much as possible. Um, that being said, since I'm going for a big battle, I am going to build as much infantry as possible because they're always needed after a battle. Either you win and then you need to defend what you've captured, or um, you uh, lose and then you need them... Um, either way, you know, infantry die during a battle. So no matter how this goes, I'm going to lose these 55 infantry, so I need to start replacing them. So 
that's what I'm doing next. Um, may have to capture Moscow more than once here. Like, I could capture it, kill a bunch of planes, rebalance the attack power, but then still lose Berlin and need to do something else. So <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to build a pile of infantry. I'm building a bomber, too, because it needs to balance out the expenses. Do you need a little bit of thought in terms of what I'm going to do with this South Atlantic fleet? This is a little too powerful. He's got one, two, three, four, five attackers, essentially, and I'm defending here with... Three. So um, if I try to attack somewhere like Brazil or somewhere on the coast of Africa, I'm really leaving open um, the uh, um, the possibility of, you know, this fleet's just going to get destroyed. I think it's kind of a waste. I could sneak around and just, like, grab Panama or something. That'd be kind of fun. Um, I also am definitely going to do something with this guy since he's here. Unfortunately, Charmander was not distracted by everything in Europe and played the game correctly and noticed that I still had a guy off the coast of USA, as I often have done. So no easy kill there. I'm going to take all the free land around here and leave the guy in Kazakh alone. Um, everybody is going to uh, Moscow that can make it. because This is the, the big battle. I'll be doing some double and triple checking to make sure that I don't forget anybody. And I'm going to grab Western Russia on the Blitz, because why not? Um, we'll do that as well. I'm feeling stressed out about this, you know? Um, so I also have these five fighters here, which mostly, whatever they do, I want them to return here afterward. Um, this fleet's not vulnerable enough. Could actually grab um, Paris with these guys. One, two, allows them to land just back in Germany afterward. That's kind of cool, actually. So let's do that. Leaves it open to the Americans recapturing it. But it does prevent them from stacking it bare. I don't know. Tempted to just leave these guys here, bring the infantry up, use them for future small trading around some of the borders. Also, it leaves me the possibility of landing them in Caucasus if I want to afterward. Maybe I will just leave them alone. Okay. South Atlantic guy, the really difficult one. Hit a lot of places. <clears throat> I could also unload in South Africa. Then I couldn't block, because he's got two routes through these two sea zones to get to me. Hmm. I kind of like um, Panama. One of the things it does as well is it gives me the canal for next turn instead of him, so that's kind of cool. Let's do that. It's kind of a lame attack, but it drags this on a little longer. These fighters can join the battle. I want to make sure I'm using every single unit this turn. I don't want anybody sitting here waiting to be used. I got these guys. I don't think I want to use them. If I bring it up into the Black Sea, I'm vulnerable to planes from uh, Moscow no matter what happens. So maybe nothing. Maybe I'll just head back. In the future, I can come back with more guys or something like that. Or if Caucasus remains a stronghold, I could pick up guys in Caucasus and... Ferry them across. This fleet might get picked off by planes at some point, too, once not all the planes in the world are tied up in a giant battle. Okay, um, so these guys definitely cannot reach. I'm going to check Caucasus and just double-check that everything's an outgoing. It's a good way of making sure that you've done it correctly. The other thing I can do is I can check my calc. So I have some calculators open here. And in the calculator, I have 55 and 30 is 85 and 23 85 and 23 is 108. So there should be 108 guys here. And I have 108. So the count matches. That's good. I have lost games because of forgetting to bring some guys to a battle. So I do not want to make that particular mistake in this game. I want to lose because I screwed up five or six or ten turns ago and uh, have fallen behind 100 in attack power, not because I misclicked. Okay. So let's do this. Without any further babbling, I am going to do the intense battle here. Go to next phase. Of course, all the other battles are freebies, so we're going straight into Moscow.